hello my darlings in today's video i'd love us to discuss some skincare in particular we are going to focus on my yearly favorites and my current favorites but before we get into that let's do a bit of housekeeping this year has been slow for me creating skincare content because i chose to create the masking club series which i've loved which i've enjoyed and I really wanted to focus on doing a couple of brand reviews this year so I had been throwing my focus into that and to be honest that's one of the main reasons I haven't done monthly favorites like I did so last year I did start the year with a current phase which is still valid I've given that a quick watch and I still like everything I said in that video I randomly did a May skincare highlights and I did have the intention of doing a september skincare highlights but when i filmed that the editing i sat down it was looking crazy it didn't happen but we're now here closer to the end of the year so i thought i would squeeze current favorites and yearly favorites in together let's start with yearly favorites you know it's a good place to start i'm a little bit of a cotton pad fiend I do like a good cotton pad last year I decided to experiment with a few cotton pads from K Beauty I didn't really find anything I fell in love with but I wasn't very cross but this year I went back to my oldie my goodie my favorites have not let me down uh, uh, holding me down until I meet the Chanel cotton pads these are the Muji cotton sheets they're beautiful they're divine I love the shape I love the size I love how they feel they're so plush on their skin I love how unbleached cotton sounds they're absolutely fantastic I have been using this for so long and every time I go back to because sometimes I do deviate as I said last year I deviated and every time I go back to them I just fall in love a little bit more I always buy them in bulk I have like four packets in my skincare stash I absolutely love these <laughs> and they really made me happy this year for as long as they make this product I will possibly always mention it in a random monthly favorite and definitely in the yearly favorites this is my purifying face toner from Nankin this is one of the best toners I have ever tried. It is beautiful on the skin, ticks many boxes. It's astringent, meaning it picks up oils on the skin. Very hydrating, very moisturizing. Don't know how they did that. Simple in ingredient deck would make so many people happy. The toner that I always say I would love to give people who don't believe in toners. This is beautiful. As I said, the ingredient deck is super simple. There's witch hazel in this, glycerin, there's aloe, there's sodium hyaluronate, the seaweed extract. I've lost count how many bottles I've bought. I always go back to it. I always have a bottle of it in my backup stash. When I'm at that last bottle, I buy a few more, at least two or three at a go. Beautiful stuff. Let's finish with Nankin before we move forward. With me, I have my hero don't want to be without lip duo this is a lip treatment balm and the eye cream complex now I use the eye cream as a lip serum and this is a trick I have talked about quite a bit if you have really dry lips try putting down an eye cream and then your lip balm now I started doing this trick because I was trying to get rid of skincare samples eye creams are one of those things that brands love to throw out as samples but what makes this special is this is the first time i have actually repurchased such a product i've always just dealt with an eye cream that has come with to me through sample wise you know some of them have impressed me some of them have not but i've always told myself try not to buy an eye cream for this purpose Idra, this is crazy your beauty budget is crazy like who do you think you are <laughs> <laughs> but I've repurchased this because that's how good it is. That's how good these two feel on my lips. My lips just feel so plush, so well taken care of. I don't reapply lip balm during the day, very rarely. My lips just feel exceptionally supported and I will be with this combination for as long as possible. 
let's focus a little bit on the lip treatment balm this is truly that a treatment it is not your regular schmegula lip balm very impactful i cannot remember the last time my lips cracked on me and my lips used to crack they used to get that dry since this has come into my life it has been very hard for me to even care about other lip balms beautiful beautiful stuff some of the star ingredients in the lip treatment balm are sheer castor beeswax grapeseed oil marigold extract and castor oil there is also some mint in this lip balm but it does not have a tingly feeling you can slightly smell it but it's not the kind of mint that would give you a strong sensation i just wanted to put that out there because i can't stand minty lip balms and i'm sure i am not the only one next up are two products that are not with me but i did finish them this year and i absolutely love them i have a good strong memory of them they're both french pharmacy both from bioderma bioderma is a brand i like to buy from essentials i'll make sure to link them down below because they are really good for french pharmacy shopping those two products are the SOS Atoderm Spray and the Ultra Nourishing Anti-Irritation Cleansing Oil. The SOS Spray is absolutely my jam, something I can easily recommend for many skin types. It's juicy skin in a can, love, love, love. I remember it being very emollient, very hydrating on the skin, very soothing as well. And I liked to put it, or rather I liked to treat it like a hydrating serum. When I had it in my routine, I didn't feel like I needed a serum in my serum step. The spray is chock full of emollients. It also has licorice root extract, green tea extract, and brown seaweed extract. As for the ultra nourishing cleansing oil, beautiful stuff. It was just, it ticked a lot of boxes for me when it comes to cleansers. I like things when they're affordable. I like it to be a multitasker because you can use that both on your face and your body. It had this luxurious foam. It did not strip the skin. The skin was left soft and cleansed. Yes, yes, yes. The ingredient deck also made it a cut above just a regular cleanser there was lots of glycerin in this lots of fatty acids antioxidants niacinamide and lecithin i found it to be fantastic something that i will repurchase again it just it was a classy workhorse i like that let's go with that it was a classy workhorse let's jump into super drug you'll know i use quite a bit from the brand my oldie my goodie I will always have it somewhere in my routine even if I leave it for a while I will always come back to it and this is the hydrating mist from the vitamin E range juicy skin in a can it is a thing that I love to mist my makeup with and gives me this glowy polished finished look accessible I absolutely love the price the ingredient deck is not too fussy but it is very effective there's glycerin in this the vitamin E of course witch hazel aloe there's some alitonin and there's also some biotin fantastic stuff another product that i have lost count how many i have been through next up with me is a naturally radiant glycolic tonic five percent glycolic acid i used to love this on my face i don't know what happened my face now does not like it at all it feels like using razors on my face the texture is ugh, anyway <laughs> but for my body it has become a staple it has become a staple i absolutely love this to exfoliate my body what i do is i drench myself with this after a shower of course and then cover my body with a body butter or a body oil and let me tell you the softness I experienced for three to four days, beautiful. Now I will say, every time I've mentioned this, I always mention this, do not do this at night because this is a very sticky product. There is quite a lot of glycerin in this thing. Chemical exfoliation in body care has definitely been a trend, but quite a lot of the products out there can be a little bit spendy. This is a fantastic way to do it, but at an affordable price. Ingredient wise, it's very simple. It's chock full of fruit extracts. The glycolic acid is in there, of course. 
and the glycerin that I had mentioned. An easy way to experiment with chemical exfoliation before you spend 40 to 50 pounds on an AHA product for your body. Try this step first. Now last for my yearly favorites, I've got the Bondi Sands Daily Moisturizing Face SPF 50. Beautiful, very moisturizing, doesn't irritate my skin, doesn't irritate my eyes. My only qualm about this is the thing that I love about it. It is very moisturizing, almost too moisturizing. Now, I don't mind looking like a glazed donut any time of the day, but not everybody wants that. So do keep that in mind. Ingredient-wise, I don't want to talk about it because I am not a sunscreen fiend. <laughs> I usually rely on my friends in the skincare community to recommend a sunscreen to me because it's not my favorite part of skincare to discuss or even investigate. They recommended this one. The price is right. You can get it almost anywhere from Superdrug to Boots to even Tesco. And I like the fact that it's almost too moisturizing. Simply for the fact that we live in a cold country and I just like to really protect my skin from the harsh weather. And this works. When I do use it in the summer, I just make sure to powder my skin heavily enough. And I don't mind the glow. I don't personally mind the glow. I have got quite a few K-Beauty products to mention, but most of them are masks. So I am going to leave that for my last Masking Club series video, which I am soon to film. But I do have one product that belongs in this list. And that is the Purito BHA Dead Skin Moisture Gel. Now this is one of the only K-Beauty products that I have constantly repurchased. That is how good it is. That is how much I love it. The price is right, the size is right, the efficiency is right, and the simplicity of the ingredient deck is also just right for me. I use BHAs because I have combination skin. I get oily in my T-zone and I can't get blackheads and whiteheads. So BHAs is really important for me because I need to clear out my pores. But BHAs can be drying and that's one of the reasons I have continuously repurchased this. It is very hydrating and soothing on the skin. I absolutely love the ingredient deck. Let me share it with you. There's mugwort in 20%. There's some aloe in 5%, sodium hyaluronate and tea tree extract. I love the texture as well. It is a nice sleepy gel. It fits perfectly in my routines in the serum step on the times that I'm using it. I'll go back to the strength of the size as I make my next recommendation. If you have body acne on your chest, on your back, on your bum, this is fantastic. The consistency is just right. You have all the right ingredients that you need, healing and soothing that skin, hydrating that skin, which it needs, and you've got your BHA to get down into the pores. It's a fantastic product. It's something I've already repurchased. I did finish up a tube sometime this year, but I have repurchased it and it's on its way to me right now. Now let's get into my current faves. These are the products that are really standing out to me in my cupboard right now. They're doing the thing, they're making me happy. Let's talk about them. We'll start off with the Zymogen Fermented Soybean Firming Serum. Now I have zero business talking about firming the skin. That's not why I like this product. That's not why I bought this product. The ingredient deck just caught my attention. The huge size also got my attention. When it comes to serums, they drive me kind of crazy. I do not like 30 ml serums. I am a face, neck, chest, hands type of girly. I am very generous with my skincare. So when I saw 105, I was like, yes, add to cart. This has been very supportive to my skin. All I know is that it has been a fantastic background player. I have felt like it has been healing and soothing the skin, keeping the skin balanced, just making the skin happy. You know, I'm following my skin intuition. I have used close to almost all of this bottle. I must have just a quarter left. So I feel like I have a firm understanding of it. And it's definitely been playing as a good background player. It has a gorgeous sleepy texture, which makes it easy to apply everywhere. It has been making me really happy. Now let's talk about those ingredients that caught my eye. The centella in this. There's willow bark and witch hazel extract. 
which caught my attention thinking that these would help support my pores. There's also cinnamon extract and a yeast ferment extract. There's glycerin and some chamomile as well. All those ingredients just told me soothing, supported, loved. And it's done exactly that for my skin. I could possibly repurchase this. It's a strong possibility. It's something I definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. The next products are all from British skincare brands. I really like that. Let's first start with the one body product that I have. This is the Still Bath and Body Oil from Bellano Skin Botanic. <sighs> I mentioned another one of her body oils in my current faves, the one that I did at the beginning of the year, and I decided I must try all of them because that was so impactful. I remember the neroli in it and the slick on the body, and this also does not disappoint. This has lavender in it. <sighs> so calming, so soft, so soothing perfect for the winter nights i am absolutely loving this the slick on the body is absolutely sensual after i have a shower and my skin is still wet i will drench myself in this and go to sleep like a baby the ingredient deck is very simple but the oils are of high quality there is coconut oil in this rose hip and olive oil of course the lavender that i had mentioned there's also patchouli and some jasmine the patchouli is not a big standout i can say that because patchouli is also another fragrance note that i absolutely love it's the lavender in this and the jasmine just just gives it a little bit more of a floral note just oh this is divine this is lovely i love her body oils i love her body oils looking at the last products they can all make a routine so let's start from the beginning another one from bellano skin botanic this is the clay melt i absolutely love her cleansing balms for the simple fact that they have clay in them it just gives the balm a very luxurious feel you get a very mild exfoliation from the clay gliding on your skin absolutely love her cleansing balms i always have them somewhere in my skincare stash and I'll always buy them for as long as she'll make them. In classic fashion of Bellano Skin Botanic, there are fantastic ingredients in this. There's apricot oil, there is avocado butter, shea butter, there's calendula oil, there's the pink clay of course, lavender and rosemary extract. I love the clay melts. They are very difficult for me to deviate from because they just tick so many boxes and they function so well and they feel luxurious on the skin I definitely recommend them constant repurchase next up with me is the authentic house think again facial serum now this is a vitamin c serum which makes me very happy because it doesn't break me out i am vitamin c sensitive i do get broken out by the ingredient but this doesn't do that but to be honest what makes me really love this serum is how emollient it is it is so juicy on the skin it is next level it feels like a slightly heavyweight moisturizer which i'm really appreciating in the colder months as i said during the winter i really like to cocoon the skin and protect it from the cold weather this is my second bottle in terms of brightening i don't think vitamin c is my star ingredient i prefer alpha butene regardless the texture the emolliency that's what is really making me happy when it comes to this serum what i also really love about this serum is that instead of using water as the first ingredient the brand has chosen to use neroli flower water there is also rosehip seed extract in this blueberry seed extract there's squalene there's a vitamin c of course there's some barley seed ferment filtrate salicylic acid sunflower seed oil and raspberry seed oil a very impactful moisturizing juicy emollient serum this is ig type of skincare and it's been making me really happy this has to be the surprise of the list. This really surprised me. I did not expect much from this cream, but I'm really liking it. This is a CBD Rescue Cream from British Cannabis. 
I didn't expect much from this cream. In fact, I received it in PR. I am a brand ambassador for the brand and I've had it, I would say eight months just lurking in my cupboards. I just, I wasn't drawn to it, but I like to try everything that comes into my life. So I recently opened this, I would say three weeks ago and I have been using it consistently and been really surprised. A very beautiful feeling on the skin. CBD is also another ingredient I have found can be very healing and nourishing to my skin. Very soothing. It has shea butter in it and that's another ingredient that my skin likes and appreciates. I don't get broken out by shea butter. I also really like that there are not a lot of promises with this cream. They just say it softens the skin and it soothes you through the CBD. And that's enough for me, you know. I don't need big long promises and claims pleasantly surprised i didn't see that one coming last and certainly not least she was mentioned in my last year's yearly favorites she's going to be mentioned in this one and that is the midnight blue recovery balm from dames and dimes just wait the jasmine in this is almost overwhelming but in a good way I like it very calming very soothing I have almost an emotional attachment to this balm immediately I put it on my skin I'm I'm, I'm really soothed like my shoulders drop and I feel so luxurious and babied and pampered and well taken care of <sighs> I love this so much I wrote an entire blog post about it just one product a blog post about one product I'm going to leave it linked down below I'm also going to link my full review of dames and dimes I have tried most of her balms the brand is very balm heavy and I'm a balm lover I will make sure to link that down below as well all I can say is blog post worthy highly recommend I am always with it, especially in the winter times. Now when I buy it, I buy it in doubles because I want to go all winter with it. Just joy, happiness, safety. Yes, yes, yes. And that's that my darlings, those are my yearly favorites and my current favorites. As per usual, I will be a good girl and make sure to fill up the description box with everything I have mentioned in this video. And with that, I want to thank you so much for being here and I also want to wish you a very beautiful December. Have you a most wonderful time, as wonderful as can be. Remember to think of others, not just yourself. <laughs> it's a time for sharing, no? It's time for sharing and caring. My name is Ijoma and I'll see you soon.